Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my first video post hurricane. It was an uneventful situation here in uh, Houston, but that's okay, guys. I will take that any day, and our thoughts and our prayers are going out for those guys out there in Louisiana. I hope if any of you guys are in Louisiana, you need any help uh, with any of your medical equipment or something, please let us know. Uh, we've got a very big network out there of people that are willing to help with whatever they can. Please just let, let us all know if you guys need some help. We know that you're going through quite a bit right now. But uh, I'm making this video not, just to sum up some of the things that are going on. It's, it's, been, it's been a wild week, let me tell you. I've been helping out a couple different companies. It's been very interesting. I've got people that are writing me from all over the world, which has been fantastic, guys. I love when you guys write in. If you guys need any help with any equipment or you're experiencing something unusual with your device, let us know. Somebody out there might have seen it already, but go ahead and let us, let us know. I'll, I'll try and make videos for it. This video is going more so out towards Peyton. Peyton wrote me and asked me, what type of tests might they give you when you hire into a biomed shop. And I've hired into several biomed shops, probably more than my share at the moment. But with that comes experience. I've done many, many job interviews for biomed jobs. Many of them I did not get, and that's okay. Use every single opportunity to learn and to improve who you are as a person and as a candidate for a job position. So this one's for you, Peyton. What type of test questions might they ask you uh, for a biomed job? Well, let me just straighten this out for you. In most places, when you hire in for a position, you'll sit down with the biomed director or the biomed manager. And then sometimes, if it's, if it's a pretty good organization, what they will do is once you go from the biomed director or manager, then you go to a peer level interview process. And the peer level is just, they're gonna ask you some personal questions that will, you know, kind of figure out who you are, what type of teams you like working on and stuff like that. But your biomed manager, he's the nut you gotta crack, okay? Your biomed manager, he's seen a lot of texts come through in his day and he knows what he's looking for for the position. So hopefully during that time, you are trying to figure out the nature of the position that he's trying to fill. And based on that, he's gonna ask you questions like, what type of imaging equipment have you had experience with? So you're gonna tailor your answer towards you know, your experience as imaging or a more technical type of medical equipment. So if you've got experience with like HL7 and with AE titles and some of the more technical sides of networking medical equipment, let's say you have your A+, you're gonna tailor your answers to kind of fit into that groove. And it's a skill. It's going to take practice, guys. So anyway, some of the questions that I'm asked. Oh, boy. I've been asked many questions. Um, so they're going to say questions like, so tell us, why are you leaving your existing job? That one you're going to get, guaranteed. Why are you leaving? What are your expectations of us? Or what's your goals for the future? You're going to get those guaranteed. They're going to ask you, what's your goals? How long are you going to be in town? What type of equipment do you want to work on? Now often they don't care, but if they ask you what type of equipment you'd like to get trained on, that's, that's your opportunity, man. Go for it. So uh, when they start asking you technical questions, it's not like they're going to say, well, I can't say that because one time I've actually seen where a senior technician came in and he asked this candidate if he can draw for us on the board the symbol for a transformer because depend on the equipment that you're fixing like if you're fixing imaging equipment I hope that you can read a schematic because that is a whole entire system and your schematic isn't just your equipment it could be your cooling system so it's gonna be a plumbing schematic it could be an electrical schematic for the room it could be an as-built schematic for the facility so it's not just an electrical schematic that you think of for a piece of equipment. It could be a schematic for the, for the plumbing or for the as-built of the facility. But that's for a more technical position. By the time you get to there, you've, you're kind of already expecting it. Um, 
as a professional and you're probably ready for those type of questions and if you're not you're not ready for that position anyway so what type of technical questions might they ask um they might ask you what type of test equipment you're used to like what type of electrical safety analyzer you've used because they want to know what type of cmms system or databases have you used in your career that's a good one because that's the number one tool you're going to be using throughout your time at that at that facility so that's a question I also expect the biomeds to ask the facility like hey what type of CMMS system do you guys use here tell me a little bit about it I'd like to know because it's the number one tool it's it's the one thing you're gonna be doing throughout the day ask that question and please hopefully it's not in a <laughs> I just I had to throw that out there you guys know that some of the other technical questions they might ask are what type of well if you're doing imaging they might say something like uh, what type of uh, cath labs do you work on? What type of uh, film processors have you worked on? Or, you know, for, for me, for surgical, they might be like, what type of video systems have you worked with? Was it a Carl Storch unit? Was it Olympus? What type of, what type of systems are you used to working on? Um, I have never really been, like, shown a test, like, show me the, these op amps and tell me what you should expect at the end of this crazy situation no um and maybe maybe they might test you as a junior bio as a junior biomed they might be asking you a few more questions when you get to a senior level or when you get some years under your belt they're not going to ask you hardly any technical questions at all they're going to look at your resume they're going to know what road you've been down throughout your career and hopefully by then you've crafted your resume and your experience uh, for interviewing so that you can you know meet their needs so um, this is this is a very good one Peyton and you're kind of throwing me off here because it's a very complex answer uh, company if you're interviewing for a biomed position for a company they're gonna ask you uh, technical questions about their product like if you're gonna be a Phillips technician they're gonna ask you so what type of networking have you done what systems have you had experience with? If it's Philips, like, hey, do you know yada yada model number? If you're interviewing for a company like Philips or GE or something, study up on their existing and their previous generations of equipment. Do your homework, guys. And furthermore, and, and that goes out for all biomeds, if you are interviewing for a position, do your research on the hospital. Know of all the local branches around the main facility that you are uh, interviewing for know all the branches that you might also be attending to. It happens, it happens actually very often. So do your homework. If they're building any construction projects, know about them and, and bring them up during the interview. Say, hey, I see that you guys are adding a new facility down the street there. How many biomed positions are you planning on putting in there and what technology are you guys gonna uh, showcase over there? That's an excellent question for them and I'll tell you what, they'd probably be very impressed if you did that. But. Um, as far as like technical questions, ah man, they might require a certification test. I don't know, that's that's still an iffy one with me because as you get more and more experience, like that whole uh, CBET thing, I met CBETs that honestly couldn't tell you what's going on on uh, you know, troubleshooting a piece of equipment. So don't always say like CBET is, is the thing. I've had CBETs like throw that in my face. It's like, oh yeah, you really wanna do this? I'll go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you guys troubleshooting something in the field live fire any day but not not to like gloat or anything but the thing is like CBET it's just one of those things it's it's another knock under your collar and maybe you want it maybe you don't that's up to you and congratulations to all you guys that achieved that I'm, I'm actually very excited it's one of my goals it's one of my long-term goals just because I want to say I did it it's like I had an A plus certification and I, I did it just to say I did it because computers are my thing. I, I've been doing computers since I was 13 years old, since back in like, what, the early, early 90s. And, um, you know, computers are just second nature to me. But I got my A plus just to say, hey, you know, I did this. And then I let it lapse. Why? Because why renew it? Honestly, why renew it? I, st I study every single day on computer systems and on medical networking and stuff. Every single day I read about the latest technology that's coming out. 
and every opportunity if there's a vendor coming in showcasing a new piece of equipment or a new technology I'm right there standing there I'm asking them questions I'm interacting with them because every day you guys should be learning okay so Peyton I don't mean this to be a long drawn out uh, video but man it they could ask you anything and when you are a junior biomed they're probably gonna ask you more stuff because if you're straight out of school they want to know like what type of school was it you know it's it's all over the board and the only one that seems to be really standardized is the DOD biomed school to which if you go through the DOD biomed school now you've also got several years of biomed under your belt probably and they know that they can probably give you a biomed 2 position at least so it's just one of those things but don't expect them to like whip out like a real test I have had um, when they ask you certain questions on certain devices because they're trying to get a feel for how comfortable you are on certain devices and that's fine that's not exactly like a pass fail type of test it's actually just to see where you're comfortable because they might be thinking about how they're gonna train you in the future so anyway guys uh, that's about it for that um, I've got so many other things that I wanted to talk to you guys about I had a, a situation at the hospital last night and I was going to record several videos for you, but I think I'm under a watchful eye right now because somebody did not like uh, being questioned. Uh, you know, if something doesn't look right, guys, ask them about it. And somebody didn't like being questioned yesterday at the hospital and he was going to contact the VP of the hospital, yada, yada. And just to keep the fires low. I didn't make any videos and I, I just proceeded with my work and you know just kept a low profile but I'm back guys so who cares and um, I've got so many other opportunities out there guys I'm also this weekend uh, probably today tomorrow I'm gonna be releasing a video of all the job opportunities that are out there I know I made a video for you guys saying hey there's not too many jobs out there nobody's hiring that's a lie I've been digging and people have been reaching out to me. I've got um, headhunters that are out there. There's some hospitals out there that I see are posting some jobs. I'm gonna make a video just to show you guys all the stuff that's out there right now during a pandemic when a lot of places have a hiring freeze. Maybe you wanna change your career path. Maybe you wanna move to a new location, who knows? But I'm gonna make a video. I'm just gonna show you uh, some of the stuff that's open right now. Some excellent opportunities out there, guys. Anyway. This is a long enough video. Thanks for watching, guys. I think I'm going to go back inside and chillax because I have not slept since 4.30 a.m. yesterday morning. And, hell, I don't even know what time it is. It's like it's like 8.30 p.m. the day after, you know, because I was on hurricane watch and I was up all night. I was working on some equipment and everything. And uh, I was trying to learn the new Fluke uh, ESU analyzer and the new day trend. Oh my God, guys, I've got to make a video on that. What a nightmare, these guys. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel and uh, stay tuned because I am going to be producing more videos, especially this weekend.